Hastings Old Town and there's amazing views from the cliffs and fresh fish and fishing net huts um, and lovely shops and everyone knows each other. Regardless of the medium, I think everything is a drawing. Um, I try and think of everything as a drawing from the start. I use anything that's to hand, but I mean most of my work is ink, Indian ink or watercolours or crayon. I've just done something with pastels that I've never really delved into before. Charcoal, um, a bit of everything actually, but most of my commercial work is ink. I do everything from landscapes, portraits, animals, abstract things, book covers, maps. But in my personal drawing there are definitely things I prefer. I like things that are quite bleak, <laughs> landscapes that are quite bleak. I'll probably spend two or three days looking at reference and really feeling comfortable with the composition and the character and then I'll plan every single brush stroke pretty much before because you've only really got one shot, you can't, you know, it's not oil paints, you can't scrape it off and start again. But then really lovely things happen where the ink bleeds and the things that you haven't planned normally actually make it. I always try and see how few brush marks I can get away with. Can I do it in one? That's the ultimate thing. I've never actually completed a job where just one has been enough. People forget if you're trying to make bigger images and you normally make small images, if you don't scale up your brushes, the scale just doesn't work. I really love having the final thing in print and clients being happy and all being signed off, that's brilliant. And when you receive an email from someone on the tube who says, I saw your work and it's really lovely, I just wanted to tell you, that's brilliant, such a good feeling. The best letter I've ever received was from Sir David Attenborough. I did some illustrations for the Time Science magazine Eureka, just after he'd finished the Frozen Planet series. And it was three double pages, which was brilliant. And I actually sent him some prints and he wrote back to me on headed paper and said thank you. So they're in his house, which is amazing. Mm -hmm.